If you look at our church history, you can't help but notice a pattern of trust in the unknowns. Let's take a look back at God's faithfulness and how He has used this church to accomplish great things we could have never imagined. For 163 years, we have seen people come through these doors to learn about God's Word, to grow in their faith, and to grow in relationship with each other. While our mission has not changed, our building certainly has. We've expanded our meeting space, bought more property to enable more opportunities for ministry, and expanded our kingdom-minded vision. There have been a number of pivotal moments in our church history where we invested in our meeting spaces. Each one was an opportunity for the members of Salem First Baptist to step out in faith for a future they couldn't possibly have known or imagined. What they didn't know when they bought Seacrest Lodge in 1967 was that since then, in an average year, over 3,500 people would come to stay at the lodge where they would deepen their relationship with God and with each other. They didn't know that Seacrest would be filled most nights of the year. Many have recommitted their lives to the Lord at Seacrest or accepted Christ for the first time there. What they didn't know in 1995 was how pivotal a little building next to us would become. They didn't know that by building a gym, their generosity would let us grow one of the largest upward basketball programs in the country. Some years hosting over 1,000 kids and teaching them about the importance of sportsmanship, integrity, and hard work. More importantly, we also have the opportunity each week to teach them about Jesus. When they began building the CLC, they didn't know that our church service gatherings were going to be halted because of the pandemic. But because of the space provided by the Community Life Center, we were able to run seven services so we could meet together again instead of staying isolated in our homes. They didn't know about all the lives that would be shaped and changed over the years because of the ability to meet in the CLC for special events, Bible studies, fellowship, meals, midweek kids, community groups, grief share, a first responder rest stop, and so much more. Those who invested didn't know all the ways that physical space would grow a spiritual kingdom. It was because they gave that we could even begin to consider purchasing our new property, which was essential upon being notified by the city that without it, we would not have enough parking space to operate our church services. What they didn't know in 2015, when the property was purchased, was the impact one city block would have in our community. They didn't know about the men whose lives would be transformed by working at First Lube Plus, or about those who came to Christ by working there. They didn't know that the young adult group would begin to meet there and grow to about 100 people per week with folks hungry for community and biblical teaching. They didn't know how God would use these spaces to meet His plans.